I've got some potting mix here ready to pot up these tomato plants. But first, let me show you this one. Actually, I used it a few years. These are bear claw. Now this one was inside the greenhouse, getting plenty of light during the day. I never let it get below 40 at night, but uh, you'll see how nice and stocky they are, very healthy. Uh, these are ready to be planted up. Uh, let me show you this one here. This one here was in, um, in the porch. Uh, it got kind of a little bit of sun, not a lot, only when the sun was directly overhead. And you'll notice that they're kind of la leggy here. This one here was really stretching. Uh, so this is the effect of only getting partial light. Uh, they'll be okay because I'll bury them nice and deep. These are the Mega Marv. Now let me show you one that was on the windowsill inside the house. Take a look at this one. This is one of the Godzillas. And look at that. It was just not enough light for this little plant. And it went looking for the sunlight. Now I can recover this if I'm very careful. Now the reason why you don't want this to happen, now if it does happen, you can probably recover it. The, the trick is to bury it nice and deep. I'm going to bury this stem all the way up to the, the leaves here like that. And so uh, the problem with it is it's very delicate. So if I break any of this stem, it's game over for this plant. So that's why you don't want to let this happen. However, if it does happen, uh, you just got to be very careful to make sure that you get this planted well. Uh, these here, these were also on the porch. They did not get a lot of light. They got partial light, so you see they're kind of leggy. A little bit healthier than this one, but uh, not as healthy as, say, these that got plenty of light. Uh, here's another one that was in the greenhouse, plenty of light. Uh, why this one here bent over, I have no clue. <laughs> but this one's indigo apple. Uh, these here were also on the porch, uh, partial light, partial sun. Uh, they're fairly healthy. They did bend a little bit toward the light looking for it. But uh, so this is really the effect of, uh, here's a spoon. This is called spoon, nice and healthy. So here's the effects right here. So this is very little light, partial light, partial sun, and this one is plenty of sunshine. So now I'm going to go ahead and, and I'm going to transplant this and show you how I recover this. Now, this is a very delicate operation, so... Um, it's going to take a very uh, ginger hand here. So this is called Godzilla. So what I do is I take it like this and I tip it upside down, squeeze it. So I take the plant completely out like that. And then I just take it. Let me get one here that's completely dry. And I set it here. Now what I want to do is I want to take it by the root system. Let me bring you in closer and show you. So I push on the root system like this and I push it down like that as deep as I can get it like that. Now you'll notice that it's still not deep enough. So what I have to do is I can bend this over and it's perfectly fine to bend it over, but you have to be very careful. So when you bend it, make sure you, 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 you give it a little path here to bend it. And then you want just that, you want just that top of that plant sticking out. Now that right there is is just fine. That's going, to, that's going to grow just fine. It'll catch up to these other ones, but uh, it's, a, it's a dangerous game because if you break that stem, you're pretty much, this plant is pretty much done. So I think it's fine. I think it's going to do okay, but that's the danger of, of, of not letting your, your tomato seedlings get enough sunlight. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to label that. I'm going to water it in first. And I do not have my sprayer out here, so I'm just gonna I'm gonna douse it really well. And I give it enough water so that it starts coming out the bottom. Now I did compact this, but not too much. You don't want to push down too hard and compact that soil too much. Okay, Godzilla. Just like that. Okay, so that one's ready to go. Okay, so this one here, 3-8, it's been about two weeks I guess 15 days something like today's the 23rd something like that so about 15 days um, so I'm gonna go ahead and do this one now this one here it looks like I watered it I shouldn't have watered it but I did so I'm gonna take this apart just like this I don't try to dig a hole and plant this whole thing with the uh, with the root ball I just take it bare like that and then I push it in all the way down to the leaves now I'm going to go ahead and put both of these in here 
and I don't want to have this root ball on there I want to just completely take that root ball off and then push that down like that give it a shake and it's ready to be watered now this is called spoon I'm gonna go ahead and water this well I don't have my sprayer top so I'm just watering it like that and it's enough so that the water comes right out the bottom like that and then I push it down like that I could put a little bit more potting soil on top but it's fine so that's called spoon so I've got a whole bunch of them here that I'm going to transplant I do it the same way uh, even these healthy ones here these nice stocky ones I do it the same way I just lay it on top now I don't usually put more than three or four in here uh, they're going to get nice size but um, I let them go till they're ready to transplant into the garden so they're going to be in here quite a long time so this one here is called bear claw so I'm going to use a couple of these I'm going to split these up into two different pots so this has got a pretty healthy root system on it so there's one and make sure that you don't that you don't wet the soil before you do this because it's hard to push your plant down in there's one two three like that and that gives me four for another one so take it apart like this take it push it down like that take that one push it down all the way in bury it right up to the leaves like that there so there are seven of the bear claw plants and if there's any sticking out like this if some of the stem is sticking out I'll go ahead and put more soil on top like this like that shake it in like that I don't need that stick in there I gotta get my sprayer out um, just like that and in no time these are gonna take right off so in case you're wondering these are four inch pots and I always use the four inch so I go from the little cups usually I use the paper cups but I had these that I in years past so uh, I just went ahead and used them bear claw bear claw okay so so I'm gonna go ahead and pot the rest of these up I'm not gonna bore you with <laughs> showing you the whole video of doing it but I just wanted to actually this video was about showing you the effects of light on the growth of these seedlings uh, and like I've said before in my videos that it's critical that you get them into the Sun as fast as you can now a, a lot of people will probably argue with me on this but as soon as they poke through the soil if you start them inside as soon as they poke through that soil get them outside in the Sun right away a lot of people will say you need to harden them off no you don't the only time you have to harden them off is if they get acclimated to the indoor environment if you get them outside in the Sun right away they're going to it's going to basically simulate them coming up out of the ground outside so uh, I've never acclim had to acclimate them before uh, and I've done it this way for oh gosh 40 years or so so um, you don't have to acclimate them if you get them out right away if you let them grow for a while inside they're going to get used to that environment then you're going to have to acclimate them harden them off before you actually leave them outside for the whole day so just get them in the Sun as fast as you can keep them in the Sun uh, don't let them get too cold at night I don't let my greenhouse get below 40 so uh, they love it in there uh, during the day it might get a little too hot if it gets too warm too hot in there they will also get leggy and start to bend over uh, it's, it's not just light but it's heat also so they don't like extreme heat it can get 100 degrees in that greenhouse even though it's only 60 degrees outside so you have to be careful of that if you have a greenhouse but if it's during the day and it's in the 50s bring them outside give them all the Sun they want in the 50s and they're gonna love it so I'm gonna go ahead and finish these they're all gonna go back into the greenhouse and they're going to stay in there until they're ready to be put into the garden which is going to be probably the third week in May all right thanks for watching guys and don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed and we'll catch y'all later